Welcome to the program. My name is Karina Brains and I'll be teaching you a bit about business studies today. But before we get into that, I just want to give a loud shout out to Liberty, our sponsors, who has been involved in education for more than 30 years. Then I want to remind you to download our application, the Tenfold application. And you are welcome to watch us on YouTube as well at Mindset Learn. So today we're looking at common exam mistakes for paper one. Let's dive in. Let's consider the structure of the paper. The structure for paper one and paper two is exactly the same. It's been the same since grade 10, so you should be familiar with it. Section A is your compulsory section that comprises of your short questions. It's your MCQs, your, multi, uh, your, match, um, your matching items and choose the correct words. They love putting distractors in this section. So basically what that means, a distractor is a section that seems it's an answer that seems correct, but it's not because there's one or two words that are slightly different, making it incorrect. So my advice to you with especially the MCQ section is to read the question, answer it in your head and write down the answer before you read the options that has been put available to you. All right. They will also in, in each paper, section A will cover, cover both topics. So in paper one, it's b both business environments and business operations. Section B consists of three questions of which two is compulsory. Question what they call two will consist of business environments. Question three will be about business operations. And question four would be what they call miscellaneous, which is a combination of both. Um, this section I want you to especially be mindful of the amount of time that you have available. For section B you should not be spending more than an hour and ten minutes on it. Section C is the ever popular essay question. So this section will be covering one of the two two main topics. So one essay question will be on business environments and the other one will be on business operation and you choose the best, the one you prefer. Be mindful that you need to do this, you need to write this essay in a half an hour and that you should practice to be able to do that. Um, yes, now I want to look at, at a little bit more detail of the, about this essay, about how is it marked. So you have 32 marks, a maximum of 32 marks, which is facts. That includes the facts, two facts that you can get from your introduction and two facts that you can get from your conclusion. The rest has to be content. Now I want you to bear in mind that this is your introduction and conclusion for business studies is a lot different from that which you do in languages and other subjects your introduction has to have new facts that you have not mentioned anywhere else and the same with your conclusion. You can write your essay in bullet form, in fact it is preferable, but it still has to be full sentences. It makes marking it far easier. Now, all right, but the essay counts out of 40, so what, what is this other eight marks? So, ever heard of Flasso? So let's talk about Flasso. So FLASO, F stands for facts, all right, L stands for layout and is a value of two marks. So you'll get one mark for the introduction and you'll get one mark for the conclusion, regardless of what you have written underneath it. But there needs to be at least two sentences. Your analysis is a bit more complicated. If you have achieved 16 marks, somewhere then you will get your one mark there and your your other analysis point is did you manage to cover all the headings that has been asked of you did you manage to did you realize that impact is both advantages and disadvantages did you answer the question that that is your other mark 
synthesis is all about relevance. So you automatically get two marks, but you lose them the moment you start writing some, some nonsense. So, for example, if I ask you to give me internal recruitment methods and you gave me external re recruitment methods, you would get a minus S. So you would lose one mark there. All right. That is your synthesis. The O is for originality, which means that you, you need to be able to work in real life examples into your essay. Now, it seems a bit hard, hard at first, but with a bit of practice, it's actually quite possible. Just bear in mind that your examples cannot be older than two years and it has to be current and relevant and fit into your essay. So that is another two marks. Most people just don't, just don't go for originality, but for high flyers, try, try your best. So there are a few useful resources I want to go through, through with you. For every subject in every grade, actually, you have exam guidelines. The exam guidelines for grade 12 is very important for all your subjects. And you can find it on www.education.gov.za. Just search for grade 12 exam guidelines and they will split it in be between languages and non-languages. Business studies is under non-languages. That document is extremely important for you because we cannot ask you anything that is outside of that. I hope that you, in your school, that you have either been using the departmental notes, the, the post-COVID ones, and, and or the departmental textbook. Either of them is, are very good and useful resources and contains the content which you need to no for this exam. Additionally, there should be a list of action verbs. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please ask your teacher to provide you with this list of action words. It will tell you exactly what is required in out, if, if a verb such as outline, explain, justify, what, how you should actually be answering those questions. Furthermore, there's another useful document that you can be using. It's the marking principles for learners and that those marking principles is actually a very useful document to read with your exam guidelines for it will provide you with additional information about what to expect in your question paper. So before we go deeper into the details of this, I would like to take a brief break and I will be back shortly.